how reimbursed expenses work in QuickBooks Online? It's a good question. But before we even get into how they work, we need to make sure we've got them set up properly. So over here in the cog wheel, the settings wheel, we're going to go into company settings. And then we go over to expenses and click anywhere in this bills and expenses area and it expands the options for you. <clears throat> and first thing, we have to be able to make expenses and items billable. So we need that checked off for sure. Uh, in order to do that, we're also going to need to track expenses and items by customer. It means it's going to allow you to, it's going to put that customer column in your expense form so you can assign expenses to a customer. Um, so those these two absolutely need to be checked off. Um, I usually avoid checking off this option, mark it up with a default rate, because that means everything's going to get marked up at that rate, and you don't have any choice about it. It's not like <clears throat> this is really a default and I can go change it later. At least last time I checked, I think that's how it worked. So I generally like to leave this unchecked. Then over here, we need this checked off where it says track billable expenses and items as income. We don't need it checked off, but this is my preference. When I incur the expense, it goes to an expense account. When I get reimbursed, I like to have it come in as income. In fact, I like to create an income account called reimbursed expenses. And that way, uh, everything's nice and clean. My reimbursements come in as positive, because otherwise the alternative is to have it track as a negative expense, basically, when you get reimbursed. And that can get messy. So I prefer to do it this way. Uh, we, we're not going to charge sales tax. And that's it for the options relating to uh, making items billable. So let's save our options. And let's go out of here. And let's go create a new expense. And we'll purchase some office supplies from iVendor. Let's make it 350. And we're going to check off that it's billable. And we're going to bill it back to XYZ. Save and close. Now let's go invoice XYZ and get reimbursed. Invoice. And as soon as I bring them in, billable expense shows up here. It's one of the cool things about QuickBooks Online, the way it does that. I'll click Add. And notice it's just going to drop the 350 in there, right? So if I wanted to mark it up, let's say I want to make it 500. And then let's say that's the whole invoice. I'm going to save and close it. And the class fields warning, saving. Let's go to customers and let's see what's going on here now. So there's my $500 invoice right to get reimbursed with the markup now let's run the profit and loss this is important because we have to understand how this impacts the profit and loss so there it is there's my it's called billable expense income that's the account it tracked to billable expense income so I would probably want to call that something else if it were me I don't love that name it's a little too literal so let's go find billable expense income and let's see if it'll let me rename it I'd prefer to call this reimbursed expenses and then it asked me if I want to merge because I had actually already created it and boom done so now let's go to my profit and loss and that's exactly why I like to run these reports right after posting transactions I want to make sure it looks exactly the way I want it presented right I want this called reimbursed expenses and boom there it is so in fact you can see the whole picture here I got reimbursed for 500 it cost me 350 I made 150 dollars on my office supplies yay that my friends is how billable or reimbursed expenses work in QuickBooks Online pretty simple pretty straightforward I think the real key here is making sure you understand and set accordingly your options here in the expenses area after that it's pretty straightforward how it works that is all, my friends. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.